everyone, I am Makeup by Carme. Welcome to my channel. If you would like to learn how to get this glam fall look, then keep watching. Okay, so I've already done my skincare regimen and prepped my skin. First, I'm going to use my Mario Badescu Rose Water Facial Spray and spray that on. Today, I'm going to be using my Too Faced Hangover Primer. I decided to use this primer today since we're doing a fall look. This is infused with coconut water, so it's going to be very hydrating for the skin. Now, I'm going to take my Makeup Revolution Banana Powder and my Clinique Blush Brush and I'm going to set my primer. Although I'm using a hydrating primer today, I'm still a very oily person, so I'm going to make sure I set my primer. I'm just going to do a little color correcting with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Orange to help cover up my dark spot. I'm just using the spoolie to my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz pencil to brush my brows in the direction I would like them to go in. I'm using my Mikasa Angle Brush and my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the shade Dark Brown to fill in my brows. I'm using my P. Louise base in the shade Rumor 3 and my concealer brush from Morphe to clean up my brows. And now I'm just using my flat eyeshadow brush by Wet n Wild to blend that out. Next, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation to clean up the top of my brows. And I'm just going to use that same Morphe concealer brush to clean them up. Now I'm going to use my Morphe 350 Nature Palette and I'm going to use that brown shade for my transition color while using my Clinique Eyeshader Brush. Also you guys, do not judge me. I know my palette is toe up. I told y'all my palettes be going through stuff. But yeah, don't judge me. <laughs> Next, I'm going to be using this orangey brown shade to go over that transition color and I'm going to be using my Real Techniques eyeshadow brush. Now I'm just going to use this reddish orange shade and that's going to go in my crease and I'm just using another Real Techniques eyeshadow brush. Now I'm going to use this dark brown shade and smoke that out in the corner and kind of pull it into my crease while using my duo eyeshadow brush. Yeah. 
Next, I'm going to be using this pretty orange shimmer shade and put that on the center of my lid while using my flat eyeshadow brush from Mikasa Beauty. Now I'm going to take this gold shimmer shade and put that in the front of my lid while using the other end of my duo eyeshadow brush. Now we're going to go back into the crease using that same dark brown shade. Now I'm just using my same Clinique eyeshadow brush that I used for my transition color to just blend everything out. Now it's time for foundation. I'm still using my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation in the shade Y445 and I'm using my Morphe foundation brush to blend it out. And this is my all-time favorite foundation brush. I definitely recommend to everybody to get this foundation brush. This brush will change your life, I swear. <laughs> I'm using my CoverGirl True Blend Concealer in the shade Warm Honey to highlight. Usually I like to let my concealer sit before I blend it out and let it get tacky. But with this one, you do not have to do that. I find it best that you blend it out right after you apply it. If you let it sit for too long, it's going to be harder to blend out. But I love this concealer. It is one of my new favorites. So I just took my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and sprayed my Beauty Blender so it can be a little damp. And I'm just going to blend out my concealer. I later on did end up going over my concealer a little bit with my foundation brush because I was having a hard time blending it out because like I said before, I waited a little too long before I blended out that concealer. Next, I'm using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Espresso to contour. And I'm just going to use my Morphe Contour Brush to blend that out. I went back into the Makeup Revolution Banana Powder and grabbed that same Clinique Blush Brush and I'm just going to set my face and bake. I grabbed my beat up Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette and I just grabbed a shade that's closest to my skin tone to wipe away the excess baking powder that I have on my face. Using that same contour palette, I just grabbed the darkest shade to set my cream contour.
I'm just using my Smashbox Primer Water again just to make sure my face doesn't feel powdery. And I'm grabbing my Becca Eye Lights Palette and I'm using the shade Pearl to add in my tear ducts. And I'm going to use that dark brown shade that we were using before and I'm going to place that in the area where my waterline is and I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow brush this brush comes in all of the Anastasia palettes now I'm using my wet and wild breakup proof which just means waterproof eyeliner in the shade black and I'm going to put that in my waterline Next, I'm using my CoverGirl Liquid Liner in the shade 320. And y'all, I'm sorry. I really did try to do my wing liner on camera. This was the best I can do. I'm sorry. Now, I'm using my Too Faced Love Light Highlighter that I dropped on the floor right before I recorded this. And I'm really upset. And I'm just putting that on with my IT Cosmetics Fan Brush. And I just sprayed my brush with a little bit of Smashbox Primer Water. Next, I'm using my Too Faced Fruit Cocktail Blush Duo in the shade Plamagrante. And I'm just going to put that on the apples of my cheeks. And I'm using my Clinique Blush Brush. Now, I'm using my Roller Lash Mascara by Benefit Cosmetics before I apply my lashes. Yes, it's lash time, honey. These are some lashes I got from AliExpress, and I'm just going to apply them by using my Ardell Duo Lash Glue. I like to let my glue dry a little bit and get tacky before I apply them. My lip combination for today is going to be the MAC Chestnut Lip Liner and the ColourPop Liquid Matte Shade in Limbo. And I almost forgot my Milani Make It Last setting spray. Okay, you guys. This is your complete fall glam look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and don't forget to ring that bell to get notified every time I post. New videos dropping every Wednesday, and be sure to follow me on social media. Thank you guys so much. Bye.